My name is Liu Huan, a scientist specializing in plant and animal genomics research. Now all my work is carried out throughout the whole process, from scientific research to planting and then to mass cultivation. We're working to achieve to a goal of being able to serve the people when we cultivate new varieties. We're focusing on the research regarding perennial rice. Perennial rice, in terms of rice breeding, is both a theoretical breakthrough from zero to one and a very significant historical breakthrough. Cultivated rice is an annual crop that does not survive the winter. Unlike traditional cultivated rice, perennial rice can be harvested for many years from a single sowing. That is, it can be harvested for many years without any need to purchase seeds, to cultivate seedlings, to plow the fields, and to plant the seedlings again. Instead, you can directly manage and harvest the field. Out of the six production processes of rice, perennial rice can save four. This can greatly reduce the cost of production, especially when there is a lack of labor now. A lot of people are not willing to farm. This is truly revolutionary for farming. If we could save four out of six production processes, we are looking at 11.4 to 13.7 US dollars per acre based on labor costs in Yunnan, China. If we plant for two seasons in one year, the estimated cost category is 22.8 to 27.3 US dollars per acre. China has 65.9 million acres of land dedicated to rice farming. Therefore, the social and economic value of these savings is estimated at $1.5 billion. We are now working with overseas research institutions to cultivate perennial rice, allowing Chinese science and technology to serve and to support the world. This also reflects BGI's vision of omics for all. We are working with the Ugandan Academy of Agricultural Sciences to carry out research trials in the region. In Uganda, we achieved a single season yield of nearly 83 kilograms per acre, even under a less sophisticated management model. These high yields are of great importance to the future food supply of African countries. If perennial rice can be promoted on a large scale overseas, it will benefit more farmers worldwide and allow this technology to contribute to the development of global agriculture.